Hey there, all you guys at home. I hope home learning is going really well for you so far today. Uh, Aaron here back with you. And today's session, we're gonna be focusing on flexibility. So flexibility is really how far you can bend your arms and legs and stretch them. Uh, so we've got some good fun challenges ahead for you today. All you need is a nice quiet area. That can be an indoor room that you've got at home or somewhere outside, um, for example, some nice shade under a tree. Into the warm up now. So all we're gonna do is work in the, whatever area you've got organized. So we're just gonna start with a quick jog around the place. You can follow me, off we go. So we're gonna do one more lap around the uh, living room that I've got. Back to the front. We're gonna go sideways a bit. One more time each way. All right, we're gonna go backwards and forwards. One more time, backwards and forwards. Come back to the spot that you started with. We're gonna start some movements around our shoulders. So we're gonna put our arms in one direction. Five or six times. Looking good guys, now the other direction. Great stuff. Now, here's a challenge. We're gonna go forwards with one arm and backwards at the same time. See if you can coordinate both arms to move at the same time in opposite directions. Looking good guys, and swap over. This one's a bit trickier this way. Great stuff. All right, one more. Excellent. Now we're gonna stand with our feet a little bit apart, arms out to the side, and we're gonna do little circles with our hands one way. So warming up our wrists. Looking good, and the other way. Nice work, everyone. Okay, we're gonna stretch those arms out wide like you got big wings, and put your fingers tips to the ground. We're stretching this part of our body here, and now to the sky. Stretching the inside of our arms, and then we're gonna swap them, our palms, so this part of our hands, are facing the sky and we're going to go up with our fingers and stretch them high down with our fingers now face them to the front towards me with your fingers and back nice everyone all right hands by your side and just let them relax now we're going to do some shoulder shrugs these to me feel really nice it's almost like our shoulders are getting a nice massage do a few one way and see if you can swap directions. So bringing your shoulder blades together, up and forward. Together, up and forward. So we're loosening up our shoulders and necks. One, two, and one more, three. Great work. Now we're gonna warm up our hips. So put your hands on your hips, legs a little bit apart, and we're just gonna swing our hips one way. And the other way. Nice. Now the last part we're gonna warm up is our ankles. So we're gonna balance on one leg and we're just gonna do some rolls with our ankles in a circle. Nice and loose with our ankles and go the other way. All right, and swap over one way. So the opposite leg from before. Nice work. And then change and go the other way. I'm going too quick for you at home. You can always pause this, do it, and then come back to the video. All right, nice. Okay, the next one we're going to do is what I call the horse stance. So we're gonna have our legs a little bit wider than our shoulders. We're gonna sink down like a horse. And now all we're gonna do is bob up and down. And I want you to be loose in your legs, loose in your arms and shaking up and down. This should feel really, really nice. So have jelly arms. If you want, you can move your arms around as well. Shaking it out like a riding a horse. Great stuff, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Great stuff. All right, we're gonna do a move called the Spider-Man now. So you may have seen the movie before. 
So I'm gonna move back a couple of steps. I'll start at the back of my room. I'm gonna to come to the floor and I'm gonna put my hands out in front, a bit like I'm on a wall, and my leg's gonna come up to my hands. And then my hands are gonna move forward and the opposite leg's gonna come up. I'm gonna move all the way to the front. Great, and look up at the end. So I'm at the top of the wall, so I'm gonna do that again. So I wonder if you can join me this time. Go to the back of your room. Hands out in front, <laughs> legs to your hand. Hand moves, leg slides behind it, looking up. Climbing that wall like Spider-Man. All right. Great work, everyone. That's doing a fantastic job. We're gonna all, again move to the back of the, uh, the room. We're gonna do a, a move called the inchworm. So I'll show you once, then you can join in with me when you're ready. I'm gonna come to the back of the room. Stand up nice and straight. Sink down. Walk your hands out. Fair way in front, and then inch your feet forward as far as you can. Hands go back out. Feet follow, try and keep your legs straight. Hands out, one more. Feet follow. Excellent, let's do that one more time. You can join me now. The back of the room. All right, walking the hands out. Long way in front, and inch those legs forwards. Hands out, straight legs, walking them forward. A little bit at a time, two more. And last one. All right, shake that about. One more move, this is called the fire hydrant. So for this one, for our last move of the, the uh, warm up, we're going all fours, and get our hands underneath our shoulders, Knees underneath our hips. And all we're doing is doing circles. We're gonna do five one way with our knees. Keep our back straight. Look down between your hands. And then you can swap directions. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Keeping that back straight and reverse it, one, two, three, four, five. All right, just shake it out and about a little bit. Well done, you're now ready for our flexibility routine. So now we're gonna move on to our flexibility routine. Uh, after this, you feel, should feel absolutely amazing. I invite you to have a go and follow me as best you can. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my hands on my hips, my feet together, and once I've done that, I'm just gonna rock back and forward to the left and right, very small movements, and just be aware of how the bottom of your feet feel until you get to a nice balanced position. Once you've done that, I want you to put your hands slightly out from your body and stretch them to the ground, a bit like they're two swords. So they're actually being activated towards the ground. Very nice, everyone. Now, I want you to be as tall as you've been today. So if you had a bit of string pulling you up, it's pulling you up nice and tall, but the energy out of your hands are still going into the ground. Looking good, guys. And now the next thing's gonna sound a bit funny, but if you look at my knees, uh, my next cue is for you to pull the skin up over your knees. So if you look at my legs, I'm gonna switch these muscles on and watch what happens to the skin over my knees. They move up. So my legs become alive, my hands are pointing down. I'm as tall as I've been today. And the last thing I'm gonna draw, my belly button into my stomach a bit more. So this is called our mountain. So if I ever say mountain, this is the position to be in. Now I want you to take a little breath in, and as you breathe out, raise your hands to the air. And stretch those two swords nice and high. If you feel like you're hunching your ears into your hands, or your neck becomes short, bring it down a bit. So bring those shoulders down, 
and look up. So this position is called the rocket. Okay, now from the rocket, my knees are gonna slightly come forward, my bottom sticks back, and it's like I'm about to sit on a chair behind me, but there's no chair there, so I'm gonna have to stop into this position. My arms are still long, so those two swords of mine are still long, and I'm looking between those arms. So this is called the chair position. I'm gonna to count to five. One, stay with me guys. Two, you're gonna work a little bit hard with this. Three, four, and back into our rocket, back into our mountain. Fantastic. All right, let's follow me along because I'm gonna introduce something new now. So we're gonna go into our mountain, breathe in, and as you breathe out, to our rocket, breathe in. As you breathe out into our chair, back into our rocket, and now, like we're diving into a pool, I'm gonna bend at the waist, and I'm just gonna hang. So this is called the rag doll. I just want you to hang, let your head go heavy towards the ground, let your arms go all floppy. You can sort of sway from one way to the next if you want. Push your knees back as much as you're comfortable with. It shouldn't hurt, but you should feel a stretch behind your legs. Great work. And now I want you to grab onto each elbow. And we're gonna pretend this is a window. So if you look at the screen, I've made a window frame. I'm gonna look at my window, through my window, at my knees or my legs. Now I'm gonna slightly bring my weight to the front of my feet and slowly breathe in and out. As you breathe out, you might be able to sink a little bit lower. Let that head, head sink down a bit lower. One more breath. And slowly reverse dive out the pool. Back into our rocket. Back into our chair. Keep following me guys, done a great job. Rocket, mountain, and step out. Shake it out and relax. Whew, well done everyone. Now for the best, most rewarding part of today's session. Uh, we're gonna slow things down, we're gonna focus on our breathing, and you're gonna feel absolutely amazing afterwards, so follow me. So the first thing um, we're going to do is to get you to lie down. Now what I've got on the floor is a, a nice towel rolled up, you can put a cushion, and that's there to support your head. So we're just gonna get onto our bottoms, I'm gonna slowly roll the spine back onto the ground and your towel or your cushion is just there to support your head. I want your knees bent and I want your feet facing forwards. I don't want them out like that. So that should be nice and relaxed. Now try to press as much of your spine into the ground as you can. You feel that there. And now just to give yourself some feedback about your breathing, we're just going to put our hands around where our belly button is. And now just pay attention to your own breathing. How quick you're breathing or how slowly you're breathing. Whereabouts that breath is going in and out. If you're breathing up here too high, See if you can focus your breath around your tummy. So as you breathe in, you should feel your tummy rise like you're filling up a balloon. As you breathe out, the air should go out of the balloon. As you become used to it, Breathe a little bit deeper, so fill out that balloon a little bit more, but also a little bit slower. There's no rush here. If you feel like it and you feel comfortable doing it, you can close your eyes when you breathe. I find that really nice. Slow, deep breaths.
And now as you breathe, I want you to pay attention to the left hand side of your brain. See if you can breathe air into it. One more breath into the left hand side of your brain. Great. Now the right hand side of your brain. So pay attention to the right hand side. Deep, slow breaths, filling up your belly with air. As you breathe out, letting the air out your belly. Pay attention to the right hand side of your brain. And now draw attention to the front of your brain. To the temples, the area of brain between your temples. And now you guessed it, the back of your brain. Area of brain that joins your neck. Long, slow breaths. No rush. Two more breaths. And one more breath. And on the count of three, I'd like you to slowly sit up cross-legged. One, two, three. Open your eyes if you've had them closed. Sit cross-legged. Notice how you're feeling right here and now. Hopefully you're feeling amazing like I am. Thanks to you little legends back home. I hope you've had a great day and I look forward to seeing you at our next physical activity lesson.